Last time on Bar with Mark, we installed a roof rack on my Jeep, and then on that roof rack, we put a solar panel, and then we did absolutely nothing. Welcome back, friends. So the reason we did absolutely nothing was because I didn't have the wire. It just, I, I couldn't find it in my local area, but uh, it just arrived, it just got here, so we can go over that. We can install everything, and then we can go and make sure everything functions correctly. That'll help us lead into a future video where we stick this thing outside with some water jugs inside my Airbnb fridge and see how long this 100 watt panel with a normal car battery, I mean, it's AGM, but it's a normal battery you can get at any O'Reilly's, um, can run that fridge. I'm hoping more than three days. Three days would be sweet. So we're gonna do that in a future video. In this video though, not only are we gonna wire everything up and make sure it functions, we're also gonna try to get an inverter in the TJ. Now, if you guys know anything about a TJ, you probably know it's very difficult to install anything because space is so limited. Well, I think I figured out a spot to put an inverter. It's very unique, at least I think it's unique, but it's gonna require some fabrication. So we need to get the Jeep out of here, get the welding table back in, and um, start some fabrication. So let's get into it. Woo! Before I roll the Jeep out, I thought it might be nice to know what we're fabricating. So let's take a look. Here is the inverter I'm going to install, and I'm not even kidding, I found it this morning at a garage sale. That's the only reason I'm installing it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be. I would just be putting the solar charger and panel together and calling it good. But because I found this and it's this, this specific shape, uh, it'll work perfectly. So where are we planning to put this? We're gonna put it right here. Um, I looked on Amazon for this to see if I could find this one, uh, just so you guys know. I, it's there technically, I don't think you can purchase it anymore, but uh, what I'll do is I'll throw the dimensions of this thing in the description below so you at least have something to go off if you're going to do something similar here. I think right here in the TJ is a fantastic spot for a few reasons. One, you're right next to the tailgate so it's easy access if you have to plug things in or charge whatever or do whatever you're doing with an inverter. Two, there is a grommet in this corner right here. It's the only grommet in the back tub of the Jeep. Um, and a lot of people use it to run antenna wiring for CBs and such. But what's fantastic about it is because of where I put my solar panel and everything, I can run the wires right in to the inverter and then right back out to the battery. So I don't have to run it all the way across my interior to get it to the front of the Jeep, which is uh, perfect. That's what I want to do. The other thing this prevent this this allows us to do is also move the charge controller. Now this one, seriously, let me know if you guys think this is a really bad idea. Um, I don't think it is, and I'll tell you why here in a second, but I'm thinking of mounting my charge controller right to the top of this thing with double-sided tape. Tape. I've had my uh, charge controller mounted for like six months now with those side tape. A lot of things are mounted that way. My CB has been mounted for a few years. Um, the ham radio thing that I built has been mounted for about a month like that. All in the heat. Works just fine. Gorilla Glue, the clear stuff. Um, use it. You won't regret it. It works great. But my concern is that the top of the inverter and the bottom will get really hot. Um, but I started thinking about it and there's two ways I can mitigate that. One. We're not ever gonna use the full power of this thing, um, ever. So like I said, we're charging camera gear. My camera gear to charge takes less than 10 amps to charge everything that I charge. So this thing putting out 800 watts, I think 800 watts at 12 volts is like 70 something amps, something like that. I'm never gonna pull 70 amps for this thing. I just don't do enough with it to do that. Um, 10 amps, totally think it, it'll be fine. It's got a cooling fan on it. On top of that, none of the electronics, I looked inside here, none of the electronics for cooling actually touch this top surface. They touch the sides. I know heat transfer, but I think if there's a fan going through it and enough air around it, I think it'll be fine. Again, let me know if it's a really bad idea. The reason I want to do that is I want everything back in this corner to be able to manage it. Also, wiring, the charge controller can also go out the same uh, grommet and just make everything a lot smoother and easier to deal with. So now that I've gone through all that, let's actually look like what we're fabricating. And for warning, this is probably one of the most jankiest models you've ever seen. Here it is. This is, this is what I'm building, uh, a cardboard platform. Uh, no, I'm kidding. So uh, this thing that's just strings of duct tape and cardboard is going to go like this. It's gonna slide right back in here and mount using the two bolts that hold your um, tailgate latch on. And I think it'll be perfect because that'll go there and then 
this will go right here like that. Well, wires in, I guess. This will go right in here like that and then charge controller right on top. All the wiring will be close to each other and neat and tidy going out the grommet and not inside the interior, which I think is just helpful and clean. Um, so this is what we have to make. That's what we have to do. There's nothing more to do except to get started. Before we go any further, let's just do a quick test fit. Make sure everything, uh, make sure everything looks okay. I think that'll do. I think that'll look real nice. A little bit of a plan B here. The solar controller will not orientate uh, horizontal, as you saw. So I'm going to do it that away. Whatever the term for that away is, that's the way we're going. And this will do a few things. I mean, yeah, the display is kind of sideways for me, but I'll be able to see it if I really want to check it. It's not too difficult. Um, and then also the wires will have more of a straight run, which is probably better anyway. Uh, less chance to pull out. And then if I ever have to do anything, it'll be easier to maintain with this sticking like that. So I think that's going to be good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this finished wired up and then call it good for the night. And then tomorrow we'll, uh, we'll take a look at it when there's daylight and kind of see how everything's um, installed and make sure it's working, every, working properly and all that stuff. So I'll see you tomorrow. Can you believe it? It's completely done. Well, except there's a little cable management up there I need to do. I'm waiting for some cable ties to come in the mail and then I'll, uh, I'll take care of that. But it's finished. So let's take a look at it before I get rained on. Right, there you have it solar panel is installed along with the controller and even an inverter i cannot believe we got an inverter inside the jeep that is pretty awesome it'll be nice just to have an extra port in the back of the jeep where i can charge camera gear or flashlights or phones lanterns whatever it'll be nice just to have extra ports inside the jeep it never hurts with that though i'm super excited to get this thing out and test it like i said we are going to put it in the yard and do a full test on it where um, basically i just turn the fridge on with some water inside of it and see how long it'll run and uh, that'll be a very interesting test. I'm hoping for more than three days. Yeah. I think the true test though, honestly, is when you take it off road because things always break in weird ways off road and you can never anticipate it. So definitely excited to get this rig out. We haven't been camping in a while and we're feeling the itch. So hopefully soon we'll get to go on a pretty big trip. Stay tuned for that one. Anyway, like the video if you liked it, hit the comments below if you have any questions, comments, concerns, love it, hate it, don't like it, change it, get rid of it something like that. I don't know. Just let me know. And uh, with that, guys, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.